But when could it actually feel a little bit like fall? Maria has the answer in your Storm Team 4 forecast. Good morning, everybody. Thursday morning, it's August 25th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Michael Gargiulo's off today. Adele Caballero's tracking the roads and the rails on this Thursday morning. And Storm Team 4 is Maria La Rosa here with that forecast. What do yes. we have? We've got plenty of summer before oh, that nice. taste of fall, but uh, it is about as good as it gets things already. Uh, yeah, we're pretty, we're off to a pretty busy start already. So the drier roadways will definitely make things a little bit easier for us right now. Right the twinkling lights of the city right now with great visibility. Fort Lee at 70 degrees, Passaic at 74. We're down to 66 in Wayne with Morristown now at 61 degrees. City Island at 74. We're sitting at 72 in Garden City and Freeport now at 74. So we've got a ton of sunshine ahead of us. That humidity still very comfortable and definitely for late August. But seek that shade by 4 p.m. We're once again approaching 90 degrees this afternoon. By this evening, 7 p.m. temperature still in the low 80s. By 10 o'clock, that's when we start to feel a little sticky, and it's back to that late August type of humidity as we head into tomorrow. But that's tomorrow. Let's get you ready for today. And I'll claim it if they don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn bike northbound inner roadway is closed. Exit 8A. Day fair continues through Labor Day. All right, Maria, got the New York State Fair. Yes. I know it's a little further out, but you know, well, hopefully weather <laughs> holds up there too, right? I think so, yeah. Well, it's fair season, right? It's a, you, you can get showers and thunderstorms. We have this other fair, Dutchess County Fair in Rhinebeck. Uh, we're looking at a lot of sunshine today if you're going to take in the festivities this going through August 28th. We can see it's another hot one. Temperatures by 2 p.m. already pushing near 90 degrees, but it's a west wind. It's still, relatively speaking, comfortable humidity. Now tomorrow's a different story, especially for the Hudson Valley, keeping an eye on that storm threat. Yes, and we could be looking at severe storms, the gusty winds, maybe some hail as well as we get into the afternoon and evening. But before that, it's another really nice summer afternoon, 73 degrees. So we're off to a good summer morning. Dew point still comfortable and no heat index to talk about. As far as this afternoon goes, though, it's another run at 90 degrees. We have 90 expected in White Plains, 89 in Islip will be up into the 90s for parts of the Hudson Valley, including Poughkeepsie, Sussex, Clinton hitting near 90 degrees. And of course, Newark 92. It would be the 45th time Newark has seen a high temperature of 90 or above this summer. Really, really tough, a hot summer for you guys. We are looking at temperatures this evening, dipping into the low 80s by dinner time. That sunset at 739 by 10, 11 o'clock, though, if you're out that late or getting up extra early, we are looking at that stickiness starting to creep back in. So tomorrow, along with that chance for afternoon storms, it's going to be more humid. 87 for the high, 91 in Newark. So yes, adding to the list here, impressive. 44 so far. So we've got at least three in the forecast. You would need another five to tie a number two spot for the most 90 degree days in Newark. And that's not out of reach. All right, let's talk storms because I want to get you ready for that. Scattered showers and storms for tomorrow afternoon. Of course, it's going to be a uh, a decent summer weekend, but if you're doing any traveling, especially uh, from the city north and the east, it could be quite stormy. So we've got our eye on that for sure. A couple systems coming through, so can't rule out some showers or storms. Hey, potential storms tomorrow. Maria's going to walk us through it all in your Storm Team 4 forecast. Good morning, everybody. Thursday morning is August 25th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Michael Gargiulo's off today. Adele Caballero is here looking at some traffic issues because of the fire we yes. just mentioned, right? And Storm Team 4's Maria La Rosa is here with that forecast. Yeah, it's really nice and comfortable. That humidity mm. so low. Late August, you got to kind of enjoy it while we have it because we do have that humidity coming back. And bridge temperature wise we head north into the Hudson Valley where we've dipped into the 50s from uh, Liberty and Claryville Kingston at 62 degrees Newburgh 63 Danbury and Peekskill in the mid 60s Mount Kisco you're sitting at 71 degrees I want to show you too the satellite and radar picture no clouds and no rainfall of course right now 73 comfortable degrees at Central Park so as you plan your day it's going to be another warm one very similar to yesterday as far as temps go back up near 90 degrees in fact by lunchtime 83 degrees I say you take Take lunch outside, but seek the shade by dinner time will be still in the mid 80s. It is later on tonight after the sun goes down that we start to see a few more clouds and definitely that humidity starting to creep up. So all in all, though, it is that dry heat, a little bit of a comfortable warmth this afternoon. All right, it is uh, now 431 Adele things to watch out for already. Yeah, plenty to watch out for actually. So out the door right further notice.
So what we need for the most part is rain, right, Maria? We absolutely do. We're not getting it today. You can see a very quiet satellite and radar picture. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s from the Hudson Valley through the city, Long Island, down the shore. We do need the rain. We are going to see it for some of us as early as tomorrow afternoon. But you can see the next week, maybe as much as an inch or two inches of rainfall in some of those areas that desperately need it. So I'm going to break down when we'll see the storm threat, including the severe potential tomorrow in the 10-day forecast. Maria, thank you. Also, I and save up for later. Maybe a picnic in the park. <laughs> it's tough out there. Something like that. It's hard out there. No, I know. I know. I know. Perhaps a baseball game. I mean, the camaraderie. Nice. Yes. But we, you can't pay for parking. Though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm that. terrible at this. I've been I've been <laughs> out of the scene too long. <laughs> um, a true story, though. I have friends who met at a Yankees game, but it was the, a Boston Red Sox fan and a Yankees fan, and they they got married. So there's hope. Beautiful. <laughs> there's hope. Yes. All right. Well, we have the Mets at home today at 7:10 first pitch against the Colorado Rockies. Great baseball weather um, and we're looking at temperatures right about 83 for first pitch. We stay in the upper 70s near 80 degrees throughout the game and dry not just precipitation but that humidity stays low. So really really lovely and that sun just coming up over the horizon. Perfect timing from Earth Cam looking over Midtown. 72 now at Central Park. That dew point still comfortable. The winds are light right now so we have a lovely summer day. If you're squeezing in another pool afternoon it's a good one tons of sunshine through 3 p.m. right about 89 degrees at that point so again close to 90 for the afternoon that low humidity it's temporary yes it's starting to creep back up by tonight 73 degrees and that humidity along with the warmth is going to feed showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow and the storm prediction center giving us a head up, heads up that some may be on the strong side so that means the damaging wind gusts possible hail and a cable out of tornado that risk isn't zero especially in this red zone here so for parts of Ulster, Dutchess County, you're in that outlook area. So uh, start to dial into the weather here for tomorrow afternoon, especially if you have outdoor plans. Uh, we've got the Dutchess County, uh, Dutchess County Fair going on through the weekend. That could be a stormy for you guys tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then by tomorrow night, getting a little bit quieter. But for the weekend, we can't rule out some showers and storms. We have a couple of fronts nearby. And while it's not going to deliver cold air, or dry air, it's going to remain pretty sticky. It's going to help focus the chance for showers and storms throughout the weekend. Don't cancel plans. Not a washout as you can see. But then what's ahead next week? Another surge of warmth that will come along with another chance for showers and storms. Very comfortable out for late August, I have to say. 72 at Central Park, 62 in Poughkeepsie. We're at 69 in Eastport, 60 in Clinton. We'll zoom down in West Milford at 62. So is Charlotteburg with Patterson at 66. Passaic, you're at 74. And Newark now at 72. So you can see these gorgeous clear skies. You got Jersey off to the right there in Midtown. By 4 p.m., once again, up near 90 degrees. So if you're taking lunch outside, seek that shady spot. You'll want that. And then a few clouds and that stickiness starting to return by 10 o'clock 79 degrees but we love the sunshine we love the dry roads Adele but we're not loving some of these delays. Yes, we definitely love the warmer temperatures, <laughs> the dry temperatures, the dry roads, the whole thing. But runoff from Tuesday's flash flooding could have led to unsafe bacteria levels in the water. So North Shore beaches like Crab Meadow Beach were closed to swimmers. However, that didn't stop some parents from letting their children in the water. It's a parent of the year over here. <laughs> we love the beach, so we're going to swim no, no matter what. Uh, and um, it's a heat wave. It's hot, right? It's, it's so hot. I can't enjoy it. The health department said the advisory would be lifted last night after two tide cycles and less testing found elevated bacteria samples. An update should be coming soon. That's because kids give you such a hard time, Maria, okay? <laughs> that know. sometimes you say, go ahead. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's true. It's true. But yeah, I mean, incredible rainfall in parts of Long Island uh, a couple mornings ago. But uh, did it make a dent in the drought? We're going to get a new update on the drought this morning. It comes out every week on Thursday mornings at 830. So we'll see if some of that rain had some improvement. But obviously, uh, it's got a long way to go before we really bust the, the drought here. We have potential in the next seven days to pick up maybe as much as one to two inches of rainfall. We'll get some of that actually tomorrow in the form of showers and storms. So it's not happening today. We have another dry one. In fact, dry in that humidity as well. We have amazing visibility currently and beautiful start to the day by August standard. 72 at Central Park right now. The dew point nice and low. The winds are calm. 
Temperature wise, we're going to be up in the mid 80s by lunchtime and a ton of sunshine. So if you're going to head out, it definitely seeks some. 45 at 90 or higher so far this summer. So we're at sitting at third uh, most 90 degree days for Newark in a season uh, remarkable there. 73 for tonight. You're going to start to notice by this evening and overnight that humidity starting to come up. In fact, if you're planning to be heading out, it is going to be nice 80 degrees and quiet by 9 p.m. 11 p.m. Still dry at 79. But yes, we are tracking that storm chance and the storm prediction center for tomorrow has given us a heads up especially for the Hudson Valley, that area in red, where it's hail, damaging winds, that tornado risk isn't zero, unfortunately, with this set of storms. Timing-wise, we're expecting tomorrow afternoon and evening. So think about your plans, whether it's the pool, the beach, or you're hitting the road maybe to do a little weekend getaway. This could impact travel. So we'll keep an eye on that.